Now heading to London, Ranjan Singh Sodhi is seen as one of India's brightest medal hopes thanks to his impressive performances over the last four years. Sodhi has made it a habit of winning medals at the world stage which has in turn propelled him into the elite list of double trap marksmen. Gold medals in the last two World Cup finals showed that he's up there with the very best. But Sodhi himself considers the Guangzhou Asian Games in 2010 where he won India's only gold medal in shooting as the turning point. Here's the ace shooter reliving those magical moments on Game for Gold. World Cup bronze medalist Ranjan Saudi. My first World Cup medal in 2007 which I won in Santo Domingo still very very precious for me because that was one medal which brought me into the international scene. That was my first World Cup medal. World Cup gold medalist Ranjan Saudi. Then 2008 when I shot the world record. So that's, that's one medal where, which will always be very close to my heart. First time in my life I was uh, shooting at home with such a big audience. I was the favourite uh, going into the Commonwealth Games as I had just won a World Cup final 10 days before the Commonwealth Games. People were just expecting nothing but gold from me. And actually after winning the silver, a lot of people came up to me, and not to congratulate but to sympathise. And they were sorry that I won a silver. So that was uh, a hell of an experience for me. Well, Saudi doesn't seem to feel pressure at all. Pressure is always there, but I think over the years we know how to deal with pressure. The other good thing was that the shooters did so well, and uh, we were winning gold medals every day in shooting. So that somehow uh, eased the uh, pressure a little bit. But uh, at this level, shooting for so many years, uh, we are very used to dealing with pressure. Gold medal now, though, for Rajan Sodhi for India. In Asia, the field is pretty tough, especially in my one double trap. So to win the Asian Games was nice and it was a tough competition there. To beat the Chinese in the home range was not easy. My first round was very good. I started off really well, but then in the second round I dropped a few targets and I wasn't very really sure that I'm even going to make the final or not. But in the last round I came back very strong and I still remember shot of 49 out of 50. Yeah, going into the finals, uh, I had a four point deficit to the leader who was Tan from China. Uh, once into the final, I was very aggressive and uh, I was determined to do well in the final. Okay. And has missed one. Luckily for me, and he fumbled and uh, I, I now won. I had a four point deficit and I won by four targets. I was training really, really hard before the Commonwealth Games uh, on flash targets. So I think that did the trick for me there because shooting in the finals on flash targets is a little different. You know, we do a little change in the equipment, like in the chokes and everything. So uh, I think that did the trick for me.